Oh hey, what's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you masking effects that you guys can apply to your outfit videos. All you need is your Mac, any type of Mac. You are going to need to be updated on the latest version of Mac OS. What we're going to do is we're going to open up Final Cut Pro and this is what I did in this video. So if I push play, it's going to look something like this. You need a tripod or you just need to set your camera on something still, completely still. So that way you can actually easily mask up yourself out of the image. And you're also going to need, if I disable the top clips, a clean background. So we have the first clip here and what we want to do is make it freeze frame. So what we're going to do is hold option on the Mac and F together and this will create a freeze frame. We're going to go over to file. We're going to go down to the share and we're going to go to save current frame. If you don't have this, just click on add destination. Under destinations, we're going to go to the add destination button and add the save current frame. Click and drag that anywhere over here on the left. Select it and go to export and make sure this is set to PNG image. We're going to go over to file share and then click save current frame and now you should have the save current frame you can check here which is this one and it's a png that way you're not exporting the video and i'm going to save this to my desktop because i already have it named like that click ok this will export the frame in this case just a still image as a png and i saved it in my desktop so i'm just going to go ahead and double click to open up the png image then what we're going to do here's the cool thing about this is we're in preview in the app this is built in you don't download this separately or anything like that you're gonna go over to uh tools and you're gonna go down to remove background this should be here if it detects a person or a subject clearly so i mean if you're in a dark background in that case you might need to actually manually do it but if you have a clear like background like in this case he's wearing a full black outfit and you can clearly see he's the subject in this picture then this will actually be very easy to crop out so just go over to tools at the top and go down to remove background now he's completely separated from the background without us having to do any work then just press command s to save the same image this is why it's important to save it as a png in the first place then just quit the application. The cool thing about this is it also saves the same resolution so you don't have to do any scaling either. So just click and drag this right above your timeline and now you can test it by disabling everything and you can see it's a PNG image which is really really cool. So I'm going to re-enable everything and now what we're going to do is do the same thing to another area in our video. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to go about here. Yeah and then I'm press option F again and this will create another freeze frame. Go over to file and then share and then you're going to go down to save current frame. I'm going to name this new frame frame 2. We're going to go over to finder, open up the image, should be a PNG image, go to tools, go down to remove background, make sure it actually is going over your subject, click on it, save it, close the application, drag it back in the timeline. You're going to go ahead and delete the freeze frame. So just move the actual clips to the left so it doesn't delete it also. So just move it over and then you can delete those freeze frames. And the cool thing is you can place these wherever you want. So the first one is going to start at the very beginning and the second one is going to start right here. So now if I go back and push play, it'll look something like this. Now you're going to see it looks really like kind of choppy. So we can easily fix that by going over to the effects, go to blur and add a directional blur. It'll kind of smooth out all the edges a little bit and make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to go like this. Then instead of having to do it again on the second clip, press command C, select the new or the next freeze frame, hold shift command V together and click paste. So I'm going to quickly just drag one of these over just to see what it would look like with the finished result. I think it would look really insane. So I'm just going to change this to screen and I push play. And this is only from one pack for my website. There's a whole bunch on there if you want to check those out. Here's another one. I'm going to change the blend mode over here. That's pretty much how they work. You just drag and drop them on your clips and you can just change and add a really cool texture like this. If you head on over to my website, kingtutspro.com, link is in the description. You can click on enter. These are all of the really cool packs that I have available. And there's also a second page for some of the free ones here. If you want to try those out, feel free to kind of see how they look like on your clips. These are not presets. You don't install these as a, as a plugin or anything like that. You just use them as a normal video clip.